that montage out of the way. Thank you. I know. Great quality. Let's talk about this. Now, let's talk about what you get for a price. Now, this whole setup, you know, it comes with your subwoofer, which is a 12-inch driver that fires towards the ground. It doesn't fire out the back. That fires straight down and kind of out like this in a con conical kind of thing to where it reverberates the floor. So you're getting out the gate a good subwoofer. Now let's talk about how much this package weighs, okay? The box is in the room over here. There's a door over here. That's where I keep all my spare boxes and stuff. The box is in there. I'm not going to bother getting it out because the doors got a bunch of stuff that we've been buying tax refund season, but this box weighs 50 pounds. Now you might be thinking, that's not bad. No, look. 50 pounds for a sub bar and a subwoofer. That is 25 pounds for this, 25 pounds for that. As you saw the close-up of this right here, this bar is massive. That's a 25-pound sound bar. That's a 25-pound subwoofer over there. Now, for the price of $300, like I said, this is an exclusive. There's no reviews on this, so I just kind of threw myself into this saying, you know what? It looks good. It's got Dolby Atmos in it, so... As you saw in the close-up right there and right there, these are upwards firing speakers. So they fire up to the ceiling and then back down to you. You're getting that full surround sound. Now, the remote itself is, you know, very, very simple. Let's see if I can focus in on this. Well... I don't think it's going to let me focus. No, it's not letting me focus. Sorry about that, guys. But anyways, for $300, you get this system. Now, it has 820 watts peak. That means as you're watching a movie, it'll go as high as over 800 watts at maximum you know, car chasing explosions, that's 800 watts of power. It goes as low as 210 watts for just your dialogue and speaking and raindrops and stuff like that. So for $300, this is what you get. Now, you might be thinking, well, what does it sound like? What does it sound like? I could play you something, but it'll be copyrighted somehow, so I'm not going to do that. But if I could honestly compare this with sound... We were in Best Buy the other day, or no, a couple days ago before I bought either one of these sound bars, and I was sitting there and all of a sudden, you know how you walk into Best Buy and you hear the TVs playing? Well, I was looking at sound bars and all of a sudden, you know how you walk into Best Buy and you hear that boom, boom, that, that really loud bass like someone's over there playing with something? I walked over there. And there was a Sony that looked just about identical to this right here. It looked identical. And that was a $2,000 sound system. So if you're asking yourself, what does this sound like for $399? Pretty much picture walking into Best Buy or taking a um, the IMAX theater and condensing that into your living room. It is so loud. That when I bought this soundbar, I walked over to my corresponding neighbors to this side and that side of my trailer and said, Hey, I just bought a new sound system. I need to test this out. You know, it's going to get loud for about 30 minutes and then that's it. That's how loud this is. That I had to go warn my neighbors for the next 20 to 30 minutes. It's going to be extremely loud, so don't call my landlord and complain. They were nice about it. That's how loud it is. So picture an IMAX in your house, okay? This is probably one of the best, if not one of the best systems I've ever bought. Like I said, the brand is called ONN. On is a Walmart and Roku exclusively built soundbar. And that's how I can technically explain the sound. So for 300 bucks, this is what you get. I went into this blind... <laughs> And this is probably one of the best, if not the best things that I've ever owned. You know, you're literally essentially getting a mini IMAX in your house. It's just 
I'm an audiophile, guys. What more can I say about this product than this is going to be a 10 minute video? And, you know, that's it. 300, 300 bucks, 800 max, 200 dialogue. You know, you'll hear raindrops, you'll hear pin drops. I can go on and on about this thing because I'm an audiophile. You know, obviously that's a thing. An audiophile, but, you know, an audio buff or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that's what you get for $300. It is by far one of the best I've ever bought. I know I've said that several times already in the past two minutes, but, you know, this is going to be technically the only review on this because nobody has the system yet. So, if you want to budget, I know $300 sounds like a lot, but, you know, this was tax refund, and honestly, if you do spend the 300 bucks. You'll never probably buy another soundbar until this one just goes out. I don't know how long they last. But put it like this. You know the Sony in a box? Sound systems that have the five channels and the subwoofer. And you pretty much get a, a sound system in a box. Theater box. That's how long I owned that one for seven years. I just upgraded this. So I don't see this one going out anytime soon. Because this has Dolby Atmos which is. The best that you could possibly buy. So, thank you all for listening to me ramble. If you found this video helpful, if you like this video, comment down below what you think about it. And I will catch you lovely ladies and gentlemen in another video. Hug and kiss your relatives. Tell your mom and dad you love them. Tell your kids you love them. And I'll talk to you all later.